Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Snack time! You gonged? I brought the macaroni. <laughs> and I brought the tomatoes. <laughs> Hope everybody's hungry. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Good thing I like macaroni. Well, who doesn't? I love macaroni. And for dessert, we'll have an orange fresh from my very own tree. Gumalicious! That's my... That's got my name on it. was the best orange ever. I'll have to take your word on that. Food always tastes better when you grow it yourself. And it's lots of fun. I like fun. And the lots of er, the better er. It's gummy gardening time. An orange plant like mine? Or a tomato one like mine? I love macaroni, so I'm gonna grow a macaroni plant. A, a macaroni, macaroni plant? Oh, my tail doesn't like this. You can't grow a macaroni plant. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible. I mean, take away the M, and what's left is suddenly possible, right? Besides, I've got a green thumb and a whole green body to go with it, come to think of it. Oh. What are you looking for in there? Macaroni seeds! There's no such thing as macaroni seeds. Ha <laughs> ha! Next thing you'll be telling me that chocolate eggs don't come out of chocolate chickens. Oh. Rutabaga! Now! Puzzle sprouts! No! Parsnips! Now! Sarsaparilla! Oh. And pumpkin! And ow! <sighs> News, guys. Looks like we're all out of macaroni seeds. What the heck am I gonna do? A brilliant idea! What? what? That's what I need. A brilliant idea. Wait! Curl my hair and call me Einstein. I just got one. What is it? I'm gonna mix these seeds with some macaroni and then plant them together. Maybe they'll grow into macaroni plants. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how it works. Well, I won't give up until I've tried. Let him do it, Harry. Whatever it takes to get him to put this whole silly idea behind him. Macaroni tree, macaroni tree. Plant some noodles and you will see. Macaroni tree, macaroni tree. Plant some noodles and you will see. A macaroni tree, macaroni tree. Just like a macaroni tree. Mix the noodles with seeds, you see. Put them in the pot, that's my wee sock. Put water on it, care and love. That should be enough. Uh, macaroni. macaroni tree, macaroni tree. Plant some noodles and you will see. A macaroni tree, macaroni tree. Just like magic, it grows for me. Maybe the mixed macaroni seeds need a little help. Look at this mess! It's as bad as the time Gummy tested that weed whacker in the china shop. Oh, flubba dabba! There's still no macaroni growing! Aww, sorry, Gummy! A brilliant idea! Right, right. That's, that's what, what you, you need, need, a brilliant, brilliant idea. idea. No, guys, I just got another one! I'm gonna combine my macaroni with a regular houseplant a little tender loving care and I bet it will grow into a macaroni plant for sure. Uh, actually. Kitty. Mm. Mm. Oh. I had 
no idea gardening could be so painful. Thanks, Harry. We wouldn't want the plant to get damaged. It's gummy time! <sighs> Sorry, gummy. How the heck am I gonna grow macaroni? I've tried everything. Well, almost everything. Maybe you just need a little magic. I should go check online to see if there's anything I've overlooked. Gosh, I hate to see him so disappointed. I just wish there was some way we really could grow a macaroni plant. A brilliant idea! One that you have or one that we need? Both! I know exactly what we've got to do! Oh, now what? Oh, what are you gonna do with that jar of honey? What else? I'm gonna use it to grow macaroni! Oh no, here we go again! Gummy! Gummy! Wake up! You've got to come see your plant! Uh, my plant? Gotta, gotta go! Hey! Wait for me! <gasps> it's... It's... Gummalicious! <sighs> your plant's working out just perfectly, Kala! Mmm... This macaroni tastes a lot like... Honey! Huh? I know what this means! Oh. Oh. We didn't stick macaroni on the plant with honey! <sighs> of course you did. Macaroni plants don't exist! So come on! Let's stop fooling around and go and plant some scrub delicious chocolate eggplants together! Hmm? <laughs> Sounds, Sounds like, like a, a great, great idea, idea Gummy! gummy. All right, it's party time! Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, tummy, funny, lucky gummy bear. I'm a jelly bear, cause I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a moving, moving, jelly. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show. Mr. C, we have tracked down the happiest place in the known universe. I have just emailed a photo of it to you. The happiest place, hmm? Well, not for long. <laughs> <laughs> Who says doing chores can't be fun? My favorite breakfast! Mine too! Thanks, Gummy! Something tells me today is gonna be... An incredibly happy day! Well, that makes it you, Nanny Moose! Ta-da! Cause I'm feeling happy, happy, happy too! Well, I feel crabby. Maybe even crabbier than usual. You wanted to be annoyed by me, sir? Yes! It's time to announce the contest! Enchanted, your ladyship. How's our budget working out, Harry? Well, by my latest calculations, we've got enough to last forever. As long as we don't buy anything, do anything, or go anywhere. <gasps> Does that mean my yacht and new set of solid gold nunchucks are out? They do say the best things in life are free. Oh, I'm not even sure we can afford those. Oh, man. I wish there was some way we could get our paws on some moolah. And the contest winner will receive a prize of one gajillion smackers. Oops, sorry. Turn it back, Turn on. It back on. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. 
I'll repeat. Today, eccentric sourpuss, but jillionaire grumpy McCrab, who's been trying for years to make fun illegal, announced a contest with whoever can last longest without singing, dancing, laughing, or smiling, taking home a grand prize of one gajillion smackers. A gajillion... Having identified the happiest corner of the known universe with the help of his extremely annoying secretary, the contest will be restricted to one single apartment building. Hey guys! That's our apartment building! Ugh. Yep. So, to recap, the contest winner will be whoever lasts longest without singing, dancing, laughing, or smiling. Oops. Ooh. Top gum! I love contests! <laughs> hey, let's all do a song and dance to celebrate our partnership that's sure to win! <laughs> Gummy, if we did a dance to celebrate winning, then we'd automatically lose. But we'd still have fun dancing, right? Contestants! Welcome to the first annual Crabathon! Now, I can tell you all from years of personal experience that being crabby has many advantages. You don't waste time having fun. Friends don't drop by uninvited or invited, come to think of it. And you get to spend a lot of great alone time, especially on holidays and on your birthday. Those are advantages? So, like the little birdie says, let the contest begin, and may the crabbiest one win! Actually, the little birdie said, cuckoo, cuckoo! <laughs> First one eliminated! You may be happy, but don't show it. Better hold that love or you blow it. Don't crack a smile or you're losing the game These are the rules, what a shame Don't tell a joke and don't giggle Don't act out funny and don't wiggle I'm trying hard to keep a serious face So I can win the first place Don't ha ha, the rules are the rules Don't laugh, don't smile, you gotta stay cool don't ha ha, the rules are the rules Don't ha ha, ha 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 How's the contest going, your supreme crabbiness? So far, seven have been eliminated, which leaves five left And frankly, I'm surprised that perky little green bear is still in the running and as the Crabathon enters its next stage, five remaining contestants are proving that when it comes to being crabby, these sour pusses have got what it takes. Man, this crabby stuff is tougher than I thought. Look, maybe we have to be all sour and gloomy out in public, but there's no stopping us from smiling and laughing and dancing a little in private. <laughs> what in private? <laughs> You know, this having no fun really isn't any fun at all. And as our Crabathon moves into the final stage grump off, five proud contestants remain. <laughs> Yay! Who made it to the finals? Another one eliminated! Well done and double done! And with only four contestants left, the contest moves into its climactic big grump off! <laughs> out, out, out! And since our last three survivors have entered the competition as a team, we have a winner! Yay! Well, I feel crabby. Maybe even crabbier than usual. So, to recap, the contest winner will be whoever lasts longest without singing, dancing, laughing, or smiling. 
Hey, this feels kind of nice. Well, if you really like that, something tells me you're going to love this. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, yummy, funny, lucky gummy bear. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Thank you, Gummy! My, you sure look happy today! I am happy, Granny Peters! I don't know why, but today feels like it's going to be a really big day! I'll be right back! I think she's redecorated. Guys, do you know what this is? It's a, a microwave oven. I, um, make lots of popcorn. Actually, it looks to me more like... Now, don't any of you sillies touch anything. I'll be right back with a special surprise for you all. In my opinion, this is no microwave oven. I wonder what this button does. Ah! So, who feels like a snack? Where's Gummy? He must have left. He probably heard some music playing somewhere and took off dancing. Man, I hate when he does that. <laughs> totally. Mmm, huh? that's one really big chocolate chip cookie. Hmm, that's one really big lime water. They say size doesn't matter, but suddenly I'm not so sure about that. Oh, I think I got him. I hope not. She didn't. Granny Peters, I think we both know what that doodad really is. It's... It's... Gosh, would you look at the time? I've got to get back to work on my latest mad scientist experiment. Uh, I mean, it's almost time for my favorite TV show, Cooking with the Three Weird Sisters. Bye! Oh, if they're leaving, getting onto that plate is my only chance! Did you 
say something, Kala? No. I did! I said hey! What, Kala? What, what? What, nothing. That's what. What do you want? <sighs> well, time for my afternoon walk. Tiny, you're minuscule, infinitesimal, microscope. But okay, okay, I get it. I'm small. Do you guys at least want to hear how it happened? <sighs> the last thing I remember is being zapped by the ray. And when I came to a minute later, I suddenly needed still to see eye to eye with a garden gnome. I knew there was something fishy about that gizmo. To me, it looked exactly like a shrinko ray. We've got to head back over to Granny Peters while she's out taking her walk. To sneak in and try to reverse the shrink array. Shh. Fortunately, I was able to reverse the shrink array's dual thermal oscillations and make Tiny Gummy big again. Got it? Got it. You've just got to stand here. Gummy, this would be a lot simpler if you just stayed in the same place for five seconds until the reverse ray, which I've set on a timer. Yay! It worked! We did it! Hmm, that's one really big strawberry. Something tells me that yay might have been slightly premature. Or at least it better be. You know, all this shrinking and growing and shrinking has made me pretty hungry. I'll bet you guys are too. So... Don't do it, Gummy! Ugh. Welcome to the Gummy Bear Show! Ah. Has you decided the colors? What? I said, has you decided the colors? And I said, what? We can do this all day, you know. Have you decided what color to bake Kala's birthday cake? <laughs> Not yet! Oh, so many colors to choose from! Oh, now I know how rainbow makers must feel! Pink, purple, green, chartreuse! <gasps> Wattie woo! I got it! I'll just ask Kala, uh, ow! What her favorite, uh, ow! Color, uh, is! Good idea! I'll get the oven warmed up while you go and do that. Hmm, I thought there were four containers! Uh. <laughs> That's better! Boom! Boomba! Hi, Kala. What's your Boomba? Favorite? Yeah! Color? Hmm. My favorite color? Yeah. Well, I used to like yellow, but then came my blue period. Yikes! When I only listen to sad songs. But I'm a cheery kitty, not a dreary kitty. Ooh, yeah! Ugh, I didn't realize colors could be so dangerous. Huh. Next came my green period, where I planted a million... Correction, make that a million and thirteen trees. So which is it now? Yellow, blue... Or green. I love all those colors. None of them. Ta-da! Those colors are so, like, last Tuesday. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, totally. Maybe even last Monday. My new favorite color is... <laughs> Maroon! Balloon? Oh, oh, oh. Is that even a color? Maroon. Oh, oh maroon. Loon, croon, june, over the moon, maroon. I think I like it. I even like saying it. Maroon, maroon, maroon. Oh, maroon, maroon, maroon. Oh, maroon, maroon, maroon. Oh, maroon. Oh, 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 oh. Would Dr. Doom like a lagoon with a raccoon in the back room? Y'all come back real soon with a maroon spoon and we'll sing a new tune. The, 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 Wait! I just got a great idea! A fabulous idea! An idea so super fantabulous they get out of be framed and put in a museum! What's that, Gummy? Uh. I forget! Maroon, 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 ba! Maroon, 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 ba! Maroon, 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 ba! Okay, so what's the big surprise, guys? Surprise! Waka, waka, wee! Maroon balloons! Maroon decorations! Even a Leaning Tower Maroon birthday cake! Ooh! Wow! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Guys, this is so double awesome! <laughs> I mean, I'm totally over the moon with all this maroon! You haven't seen anything yet, Kala! Whoa! Your whole birthday is going to be filled with maroon! You're gonna eat, sleep, walk, talk, dance, pray, think, drink! Enough, Gummy! She gets the picture! <laughs> In short, be maroon! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Happy maroon birthday, Kala! I yellow, purple, pink, or mauve. These are colors that I love. Silver, gold, and red and blue. None of them would do. Maroon ba. He wants maroon, maroon, maroon ba. Maroon, maroon, maroon ba. Gotta be maroon, maroon ba. Maroon is what she wants. Rainbow neon or pastel. She don't want them, I can tell. She doesn't even like it seems. My favorite color green. Only maroon, maroon, maroon ba. Maroon, maroon, maroon ba. The girl she loves maroon, yeah. Maroon is what she wants. Coming up next is special birthday meal. Honky ha ha. For the special birthday girl. Uh, cute. What happened to my flowers? Oh, we threw them out. So we could replant new maroon ones. <laughs> you what? No effort is too great for our maroon loving pal. <laughs> into my party clothes. No problem, Kala. See you later for the big party. Ah! So, was she surprised? <laughs> she sure was. Surprise! Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Definitely surprised this time, too. I have to agree. Mm -hmm. Um, Gummy, I'm thinking maybe we might have gotten this whole maroon thing a little bit wrong. You mean not enough maroon? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I'm sick of maroon! 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 No more maroon food, no more maroon clothes, and no more maroon shampoo! I hate maroon! I don't want to hear or see any more maroon spoon loon and June for the rest of my life! Hey, no problemo! Now that I think of it, chartreuse is a way cooler color. Chartreuse, 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 chartreuse bananas, chartreuse shampoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> But since variety's so much fun, there's no need to actually dye everything this time. We'll just use colored light. <laughs> that way, we'll get to enjoy all colors, each one just as long as we want to. So we rigged up the light system to make other colors too. Now you'll have the choice every day of deciding which one, if any, you feel like. Yay! Guys, this is the best birthday ever! 
the ball. What the heck is going on, Gummy? I mean, you're usually a little weird, but not this weird. Maybe we should both just go for a calm, healthy walk together to see if we can clear up these strange delusions you're experiencing. Hmm. Let's see if you've still got it, Gertie. Let's see if Thunderthigh's Peters still has a few of those good old highlight wheel moves. I must be eating too many stewed prunes. Oh, so that's it. The way I see it, Gummy, is you just imagine the whole thing. Either that, or, of course, you're completely losing your mind. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not losing my mind. Harry, Gummy, come quick. <laughs> Did you hear it? Uh, maybe, but I'm not losing my mind. The ball isn't meowing. No, you're right, Gummy. The ball isn't meowing. It's what's up there that's meowing. Don't you see it? The tree is meowing? No, silly, not the tree. Look up. Look way up. The round yellow thing? No, that's the sun. The big gray fluffy things? No, those are clouds. The cute little adorable furry gray thing with whiskers and a tail that's stuck up in the tree? Well, we've got to help it. You bet, but how? Maybe we could shake the tree a little, then catch it safe and sound when it falls. Plan B time. Can one of you fellas climb up and help it down? Sure. sure. Harry can. Gummy can. Meow, meow, meow. Who's that looking at me? Meow, meow, meow. Do you see what I see? Say, is that a bird? Say, what can it be? It looks like.
darling down with this saucer of milk. Itsy bitsy bit of hope coming down. Since you've got the ladder set back up. Uh, uh, ah! <sighs> you know, some days I could really do without Newton and his dumb gravity. Are you gonna be okay making it down without a ladder, Gummy? Me? No problem, guys. Fortunately, I've seen a few ape men swinging from vines movies. Funny, it seemed easier when the king of the jungle did it. Maybe it wasn't the smoothest, but what matters is that we're now all safely back on the ground. up in that tree. Sure. Meow. Doesn't everybody? Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy 